Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about Newsboat. I got a request to talk about Newsboat and some of the uh, RSS feeds I'm subscribed to or like interesting ones that I have. Um, Newsboat is pretty cool. It will just work based off of some URLs you drop into a file and it'll pull the RSS feeds for them. Uh, I don't really do, do any like super complex configuration of it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and it's just a great way of reading your stuff. And if you wanted to see like the graphical versions of like these papers, journals, articles, whatever, um, you can just open it with a browser. So let's look at Newsboat, see what it looks like. So in my system, this is what it looks like. Um, I have a lot of unread items, don't judge. Um, you can subscribe to YouTube channels. There's um, a way of grabbing YouTube um, RSS feeds. Uh, it's on my website. You could see, not the resource, but like um, if you tried to grab my RSS feed from my YouTube channel, like right here, um, it's youtube.com slash feeds slash videos dot XML question mark channel ID equals, and then you just input whoever their channel ID. Uh, and that will give you an RSS feed to all of their YouTube videos. You can do this to articles, papers, um, people's blog posts, YouTube videos, anything that has an XML um, document, you can pretty much get it in here. And so like I have my, you know, my, you can get Twitter, you can get YouTube, you can get um, some blogs. I have my blog on here, uh, my YouTube channel. So you can get a bunch of different things in here. So by default, I have, um, you know, when I first downloaded this whole system, I have Luke's material here, Luke Smith, and I have a bunch of other things I added, some friends of mine, um, some articles, some journals, um, just stuff I wanted to read. So this is cool, but let's go in and actually look at some stuff. So let's do our bloggers. So all the stuff in blue um, has these ends, which means it's new and it's blue because it's unread in my, in my case, you know, color themes vary. But in my case, um, this means that these are all the unread items. And I, if I wanted to go through these and like mark something as red, I can just press A, lowercase a, and that will go one by one. Or if I want to go back and then make it mark it as unread, I can do A again. So A just toggles its read status. Um, if I did um, shift A, it would mark all as read, which is what I want to do because our bloggers is something I read daily anyway. So this is just in case I don't have my work computer anymore. Um, if I wanted to go into these things, it still uses Vim keys. So if I did um, L to go into it, it'll actually open up the document. You can scroll. And um, I'm not 100% sure if this is something that's already in here or if this is something that Luke set up on this system. But if I do Alt-L, um, it'll let me follow URLs from D-Menu. And any of these links in here, it'll find all the URLs and let me follow them. And this will open them in my browser. So if I want to open up this particular link, I can press Enter and it opens up in my browser. Pretty cool. So that way, if you wanted to see something, you could always open it up that way. But I can go through all of these. If I want to go back out, I can do H. Um, and yeah, so some of the things that I wanted to do initially was customize like how these things read. Like I didn't want to have Twitter search or something if I, if that was a case. In the, if that was the case, so I wanted to like change how some of these things look. You know, add blog, add podcast, whatever. So. In your uh, Newsboat file, so Newsboat has a configuration file. Um, let's see, yeah, config. So these are some of the, um, oh, here it is, external URL viewer. There we go. Um, and then I'll open up in D menu, D menu handler, okay. So these are some of the key bindings. I haven't messed with any of these. These are all the defaults from the LARBs installation. Um, but really what I add is the URLs. And this is what you're gonna probably add, is you can add a list of URLs to the URLs file in Newsboat, or it's in its .config folder. So if I open URLs, I have all of these files in here. Um, these are the ones that Luke leaves in by default for new users of LARBs. Um, 
And one thing I did is, actually I'm not sure if he did this or if I did this, but these, um, in double quotes, these are like the, the metadata of these URLs. So what I did is I made like a section for each type of item. So I got Twitter, I got blog, I got podcasts, um, some, my own things, and then some like academic journals. Uh, comments are with the hash symbols. And then one really cool thing is if in this feed, you can see this one says rubber duck VBA. So if I wanted to find rubber duck VBA right here, if I actually commented out this, um, this line here, close that and then close news boat, reopen it, the rubber duck VBA now looks different. So you can actually specify what you want these things to display as in your uh, URLs file. So the way we do that is to change the name of how something is appearing in here. In the first double quote, you just add a tilde character right before the name you want. I actually want a space in that. Um, and then the rest of these things are tags that you can search. So say you have a lot of feeds, but you today only want to review things that are like academic journals, or in my case, maybe uh, things that are programming or software engineering related. So that's possible with all of these tags. It's just separated by spaces, each thing wrapped in double quotes. And I like to make things a little bit prettier sometimes, like wrapping it in blog, podcast, Twitter, and wrapping them in parens. So how do we look at tags? In Newsboat, uh, I believe it's the T character, T will let you look at tags. And so in here, I can go here and like, oh, okay, I can look up specific things. Ooh, Vim, okay, enter, server. So that is um, somebody who, it's the guy who actually made the UltiSnips Vim plugin. So in that case, uh, I have him under the Vim tag. I can go in, I can look at their stuff, cool. What about somebody who has, what about multiple things in a tag? So let's do Linux. Ah, there's Luke Smith, and then there's the Arch Linux um, news feed. So I can go into these, and I can look at those items. And I can go back, and you can, you can easily search by tags if you have a lot of different uh, feeds in here. Really, really useful if you have all of your media in here. Say you had all your YouTube videos in here, or all your YouTube channels, and you didn't want to like really be on YouTube or in the browser, you could easily do the URL viewer and like open up a YouTube video, or I believe Luke has it set up where you can actually open up some of these videos in um, like MPV, I think. Um, mine just go to the browser, but I, I'm pretty sure I've seen him do it before. But yeah, so you could have all of this stuff in here and easily tag it and search by tags and just add all of that metadata yourself. So really, it's just a matter of get your um, RSS or XML feeds, drop them in, add your metadata or rename them as you see fit, and you're good to go. And that's it. That's that's Newsboat. Um, for the updating, so you would actually have to run a command to um, reload all of them. You have to do like R or capital R to reload all. Um, I still have the script and the cron job set up that it just runs that like every I think half an hour or something. Um, so let's do, let's look at that. So cron tab E. So it would be this one. Every 30 minutes, it will run the script news up. And that will grab all of my, I'll basically just refresh that file um, or it'll refresh newsboat. And it'll see how it's refreshing down here at the bottom. It'll just do that on every half hour. So let's look at that script. Oh, it's in cron, that's why. News up. So in this one, it's gonna make sure we have an internet connection. It's gonna notify me that it's sending, um, it's updating the RSS feeds. It's going to do that. I actually haven't looked at this script before. I just know that it works. News update, kill my three blocks. And so this was probably updating the amount of stories I have up here. Like um, in this, this is like all the packages that Pac-Man downloads and holds for me to install manually. Um, and then this one is like how many articles I have 
or unread items, really. And it'll let me know that it's complete. So it runs all these things, and this is just a Necron job, and my feeds are just refreshed every half hour. I don't even have to open news boats. So that way, whenever I go in, when I go in, it refreshes anyways, and I just read my stories. So that's um, how I use Newsboat. That's all I have in it, really. I don't really have too much in here. I can't really keep up with it very easily. But that's how I uh, follow all of these blogs is really this. Like I didn't want, I didn't want to have something like Google Reader or like any of the other um, blogger or these other RSS feed readers. No, I wanted to have it something I can control and this you can control. You can have all your feeds in here. You can have it all on your computer. You can have it all automated. You can back your URLs file up in you know your dot files repo or some private you know repo or gist or something on GitHub, and you're good to go. You can go back to the races. And usually when I install something or add something new to this, um, or add a new uh, like article or journal or something I'm following, it'll actually usually download some like like a batch of like 10 of the most recent things, uh, but it won't download everything. So it's not just gonna like, if you have a large amount of content, it's not just gonna like nuke your system. It's gonna download like some of the most recent items and that's it. Um, so pro and con, depending on what you're trying to go for. But in my case, it works just fine. Um, it's just, hey, from now on, I wanna receive these things and it works. So if you use Newsboat, if you found any really cool configurations, you have anything you'd like to suggest, please leave that in the comments section. I'd love to hear about it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.